Hey guys, now bear with me. This video you will hear me talking a lot, so if you don't like that, well, that's kind of understandable. But nonetheless, don't worry, because next video won't be like that. Probably. Anyhow, today I had some free time in Tokyo, so I asked a friend of mine what they recommended to do, and they suggested the coffee shop that they worked at. I basically was like, say less, and headed over there, which they didn't really expect me to do. <laughs> anyway, while we were communicating for a little while in our little knowledge of English and Japanese with the help of our friend Google Translate, I tried the baked melon bread, and my god, I'm not sure if I tasted something better in my life. Having that with some coffee was just fantastic. Fantastic. What was great was a regular customer came in there, whom, to my friend's surprise, was fluent in English. So we got a real life translator for free. Thanks, Jun san. Sorry, man. <laughs> all in all, I really like the vibe of this place. It's in a peaceful, quiet area, so it's a great place to relax, look outside, and just enjoy your cup of coffee before starting the day. So if you're ever in Tokyo and in this area, I highly recommend coming to Sidewalk Stand. So after that, I wanted to check out Shibuya again and to hopefully avoid the incident. <laughs> And now, now hold on real quick, let me just tell you the story about the statue and then go back to the beat drop, alright? So Hachiko was a Japanese dog remembered for his remarkable loyalty to his owner. He would meet his owner every day at Shibuya Station after his owner's commute home. Sadly, the owner passed away at work one day, but Hachiko kept coming back every day for 9 years until he too passed away. Now having the statue here to remember him by, it has become a famous spot for people all over the world who come to see, evidently. Okay, drop the beat please! Yeah, I came all the way to Japan to get some family chicken. This is the reason why I come back. The next station is Shibuya. get some ramen with a friend of mine so yeah this is a different side of tokyo i have not been to so i'm trying to explore while also try to make it to time to this restaurant but maybe maru ramen let's go Very good unique ramen. Before the night ended, we checked out Tokyo Dome and I didn't realize how cool this place was. It had a Ferris wheel, roller coaster, water drop, carousel, haunted house, a spa, even a fountain with music. Not to mention a whole area for the concert to be held. I could keep going on. This place had it all. Although now, it's time to see what more of Japan has to offer. What are you still doing here? 